This is a very difficult video for me to make. I actually hopped out of bed to make it because the story developed when I finally checked my Facebook Messenger. And you're gonna wanna stick around for this one. So I went to high school in Jersey City with a girl who happens to be running for Board of Ed in Clifton, New Jersey, and happened to get the number one spot, which you know, uninformed voters will just choose one because they don't know who's running for board. But this is why it's so important to be an informed voter and not just select any name. On the surface, Tanya Suarez seems like, you know, fine enough. She seems to know what she's talking about. She seems to care about kids. Why not vote for her? But let me tell you what happened tonight. She posted a video on Facebook talking about a guy who's running for a Senate seat. And I guess she received mail from his campaign and was upset about it. And she was going line by line by which, of what she saw in that pamphlet and what she disagreed with. Namely, that parents, you know, he's, he, I guess he's running on the fact that parents want to have a say in their kids' education. And she wasn't okay with that. But that this isn't what the story is about. She laughs and says, there's no pornographic content in schools. Uh, it says, remove pornographic books from schools. I gotta laugh. There are no pornographic books in schools. Well, I didn't want to embarrass her publicly, so I sent her a Facebook message and said, hey, there actually is. Here's one example that's really bad. Um, I'll show you the message. I don't want to show the full video of what is in this book because it's disgusting and it made me want to throw up. The name of the story is The Bluest Eye by Toni Morrison and in Montgomery, New Jersey, they are mandating this book for students. Now the problem with this book and why it's so disgusting is it's a pedophile book. It's a story about a father who has sex with his daughter and then talks about why he likes sleeping with young girls. Here's Tanya's response. Guys, this is bad. I understand that you want people to be treated equally. You want educators to be able to do their jobs. I do too. But just like everything else, there are good people and bad people in every job. There are bad teachers with bad intentions. There are bad administrators with bad intentions. And it's happening, whether you like it or not. It's in every state. Many districts have this problem, and that's why parents are getting involved. It's not about being an extremist, but when you condone pedophilia at any age, anywhere, there's something wrong with you. 